I, I, okay. All right. As each driver comes up here, we're going to make some noise as they enter, starting from the back. Driver of the 17 car out of Caledonia, Illinois, main sponsor, Windsor Auto, and John Cabello, it's Max Kaler. Inside of Max Kaler. Good luck, sir. Being crew chief by Ty Majeski. Driver makes us home out of Wales, Wisconsin, sponsored by Ellison Technologies. This is the 92 car of Rob Braun. Outside the next row. Makes us home out of Burlington, Wisconsin. Main sponsor is JK Tools. Please welcome Chris Polera. Inside of Chris in the 12 car. Makes us home out of Milton, Milton, Wisconsin. Sponsored by KP Auto Paint. It is Chris Purdy. Inside the next row. Driver does double duty. Good luck to you. Thank you. Runs the Illini Racing Series, car number one. Makes his home out of Joliet, Illinois, sponsored by Sontag Speed Supplies. This is the 55 of Scott Kerner. Inside of Scott, your fast qualifier. Makes his home out of Winnebago, Illinois. Sponsored by HG Plumbing. Make some noise for Jake Guiley. Outside of the next row, be row five. A two-time short track winner in 2019 and 2016. His home's in Edgerton, Wisconsin, sponsored by Valley Gasket Incorporated. This is the 47 machine of Casey Johnson. And inside of Casey, the 50th Na National Short Track Championship winner in 2015 makes us home out of Loves Park, Illinois, sponsored by Plastering Professionals. You know him as Driver X, John Reynolds, Jr. Outside of row four, ran double duty today in the 84 machine. Driver makes us home out of Hartford, Wisconsin. Sponsored by Bunzel's Old Fashioned Meat Market. Good luck, John. Make some noise for Jake Vanoski. Inside of row four, a guy who just won 108 laps and he basically walked everybody, only didn't laugh six cars, very fast car. Sponsored by Builderbacks Auto Parts out of South Boyd, Illinois. Make some noise, it's Michael. Filderback. Outside of row three, out of Cambridge, Wisconsin, sponsored by Smithback Farms. You usually would see him in car 51, but today he's also in car number two. Make some noise for Dale Nottestad. Inside of Dale Nottestad. Has a very famous family member that raced here for a long time. Makes us home out of Roscoe, Illinois. Sponsored by Crazy Times Pub and Grub. It is the 45 car of Kyle Shear. <laughs> Outside of row two, a two-time defending track champion, or, excuse me, a two-time national short track champion, back-to-back, -back, Makes us home out of Kewaskum, Wisconsin, sponsored by the Paul Riley Company. It is the 11 car of Alex Prunty. Inside of Alex Prunty, out of Twin Lakes, Wisconsin, sponsored by Rhodes Towing, Repair, and Sales. It is the 5 car of Landry Potter. And now for the front row. Outside, 
of the pole out of Roscoe, Illinois, sponsored by carcorner.net. He's due for a win one of these times. It could be today. Make some noise for Austin Nason. And our last driver starting on the pole. He won in 1990 and 2012. Also is an author of a book, From the Barnyard to Brickyard, sponsored by Miller Lite. Make some noise for Rich Bickle Jr. <laughs> Rockford Speedway, that is your lineup for a 200 lap super late model feature. Rich, good luck, sir. Rockford Speedway, you will have to help me count them down once everybody's in the car. We will go from five and we will say, gentlemen, start your engines. Dan, I think you should help me on this here. <laughs> All right, here we go. David Deary's going to help us. Thanks, fans, for coming to the National Short Track Championships. I need help today to start this wonderful event. Going from five, four, three, two, one. Start your engines. All right, there's the balloons. And there's the fireworks. That's how you start a super late model feature. All right, race fans, get comfortable. 200 laps. The pole. Rich Bickle on the pole. Outside of, outside of Rich Bickle, Austin Nason, a guy who has been wanting to win this race season after season. Could today be the day for Austin Nason? your seat on your feet send these drivers off in style let's stand up let's wave to them as it's super late model feature time next short track championships 55th run to come home to victory all right see johnson a two-time short track winner here Rex hasn't won in five years. I know he wants to get the win. All right, lights on the car corner, pace car are out. Oh, this is my favorite part of the entire event when they're all bunched up like this. Here we go, Rockford Speedway. And they come in, great flag over racing. Coming out of turn one, it's gonna be a drag race between Austin Nason and Rich Bickle. Prunty slide in there to block out Bickle. And those two, oh, here we go. They're beat, banging already on the first lap. Bickle and Prunty getting into it. Michael Bilderback trying to get around Kyle Shear. Driver X working with Jake Vanofsky. Dale Nottestead secures third. Bickle drops back to fourth. Landry Potter all over the back of Bickle. Casey, whoa, Casey Johnson and Jake Van Oski bump a little bit there. Jake Van Oski getting a little squirrely in turns three and four. They're having some handling issues. 
And now it's Jake Guiley, your fast qualifier, challenging driver X. Those two know each other real well out here at the Rockford Speedway. And it's going to be Landry Potter now to go side by side with Rich Pickle. Alex Prunty now looking to challenge for the lead against Austin Mason, but Gail Modestead's right there to set up for the block. The three leaders right behind one another. Okay, here comes Prunty again. Prunty's trying to get up early. That's the strategy that's worked for him before. Now it's Jake Guiley to challenge Michael Builder back. Jake Guiley's on the move. Already up to about sixth place right now as he's going to find Michael Builder back, it looks like. Guiley secures six, slides in there now. Shear trying to pull away from Reynolds. Brunty and Mason still battling it off for the lead. Nottestead once in the action. Let's see what lane out Nottestead's going to choose. Right now he's down low with Prunty. Jake Guiley now trying to get around Landry Potter. Jake Guiley's running fast, Rockford Speedway. He's moved up to fifth already. Here comes Alex Prunty on the inside again. They both come out of two. Alex Prunty wanted the inside there now. Let's see what happens. As the two of them may attack. Whoa, the 45's way up on the wall. 45 of Kyle Shear up on the wall. The 12 of Chris Purdy spinning out there. There's oil in turns three right now. We've got an oil grip. Somebody's leaking oil on the track. Wow, Kyle Shear going for the ride of his life. We saw Grant Griesbach do that a couple of years ago in the 17. That was a wild ride for Griesbach. So somebody's leaking oil there. We'll figure out who it is. As Austin Nason is going to set the pace for the group. And they're going to pick up speed. They're now entering the raw steel collision center restart zone. Here they come. Green flag and we're racing. Austin Nason going to try to get off. Here comes Prunty. This is Prunty's chance now. Nason pulls away from him. Nattestead closes the door on Prunty to keep him on the inside. Whoa, the two of them touch. And here comes Jake Guiley. Jake Guiley wants in the mix. Jake Guiley challenging Dale Nottestead now for third. They're going to keep Nottestead on the outside. Looks like the 45 of Rich Bickle's off the pace there. Got a little loose. As now Landry Potter's passing him. Mag Max Kaler wants to pass him. Jake Fanoski right there as well. The leader's now singling out. Jake Guiley decided to go back to the inside to try to challenge Nottestead again as Jake Guiley has a lot of Casey Johnson on his back bumper. Here comes Prunty for the pass again. Driver X now starting to move up the field. He gets around Chris Purdy. We'll see what happens this time. As Pr oh, Prunty and Nason make... As they get into each other right there in turn four, Prunty hurries up and closes the door from Nottestead from sliding right in there. That was interesting. Jake, Jake Guiley going to try to take advantage of that as he had to slow down a little bit. As Guiley's still right there on the inside, challenging uh, Dale Nottestead for that third spot. Everybody else kind of smile. Charles Jr. looking to the inside of Rob Braun. Prunty and Nason going at it again. Let's see what happens this time. It's like Prunty, oh, here we go. They made contact. They both spin out. We've seen this last year, but it was two It was actually Prunty and a different driver. So this is it. Prunty getting, getting involved in a spin out there with Austin Nason. And this is such an early race. We're only 28 laps in. So Prunty's trying to slide to the inside, but I don't know if that's going to work. Lights on the car corner, pace car are out. Yeah, that's not going to work. I guess we're going to go. Yellow flag. No, it's not going to work. Because I thought the 11 car 
of Alex Prunty must go to the back of the longest line as he was involved in that incident. So we need Alex Prunty to drop back. I believe behind the double zero car. So they must be having a miscommunication right now, Rockford Speedway. Okay, the word everybody was eligible, eligible to pick what they wanted to do. Let's try it again. Here they come. Green flag, we're racing. And that ain't gonna work. The yellow flag's coming out again. All right, let's see if we can do it again. Everybody has to get back to their spot they were at. All right, so the sign from the flag man is one to go. Jake Guiley is your leader. He sets the pace for the group. And they're now going to be coming into the raw steel collision center restart zone. Here they come. Three flag and we're racing. And it's going to be Guiley to try to pull away. Yellow flag out. Another problem there with that restart. All right, so we got to get that restart set just right. Let's try it again. They want to give everybody bunched up. The 45 of Rich Bickle and the two of Dale Mattestead. They want to get them closer there. I guess they actually got a swap. The 45 is supposed to be, well, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Don't ask me, Rockford, I don't know. All right, let's try it again. Here we come. Green flag and we're racing. And Dale Mattestead's gonna be your leader. Scott Kerner on the hard inside and he's dropping back quick. So it's Mattestead followed by Guiley, followed by Bickle. And there's Casey Johnson. Whoa, the 50 Jake Guiley sliding and losing it on his own. Is the 47 of Casey Johnson challenging Max Taylor as they are battling for fourth spot. Driver X trying to get around Van Oski. Prunty gets around Purdy. Prunty on the inside of Van Oski. So Landry Potter there was starting to challenge Rich Bickle for second. And it's Max Kaler to finally get around Casey Johnson, but Casey Johnson's right there. And Dale Modestad is your leader. As the 45 of Rich Bickle running there in second. Maybe Potter right there. Casey Johnson and Mad Max Kaler all stacked up behind them. 
Alex Prunty in the mix now again. Prunty trying to get it in there. And now Prunty's on the inside of Mad Max Kaler. Austin Nason gets around driver X John Reynolds Jr. Kaler and Prunty duking it out. Landry Potter on the inside of Bickle. That was close, and he closed the door. Casey Johnson and basically cut him off. And Alex Prunty got around. Now he's challenging Casey Johnson for fourth. Everybody else running single file. Alex Prunty trying to work his way back up to the front. As Johnson closes closer to Landry Potter. Bickle still holding second. He's going to try to pull away from Landry Potter. Casey Johnson finds a gap. He grabs the inside now to try to get around Landry Potter. And Alex Prunty right there, right behind him. Michael Bilderback now in the back battling with Rob Braun. Austin Nason now working his way on the inside of Mad Max Kaler. Oh, Nason and Kaler almost touched. It looked like coming out of turn two. Driver X now trying to get around Mad Max Kaler. Casey Johnson on the inside of Landry Potter. Mad Max Kaler not going to let Driver X go without a fight. Everybody else single file running except for Driver X and Max Kaler. And Driver X decides to drop behind Kaler as it wasn't working. Casey Johnson now looking to the inside of Landry Potter. Brunty now on the inside of Casey Johnson. Michael Bilderbeck finally getting around Rob Braun, and now he's set his sights to try to get around Jake Vanoski. And it's Prunty and Johnson. Two heavy hitters battling it out, coming into three and four. Prunty trying to get the edge. Casey Johnson's no easy driver to pass, that's for sure. Prunty's got about a half a car lead now on Johnson. He slides in front of Johnson. Here comes Austin Nason. He's going to try to take advantage of Casey Johnson having to back out of it a little bit. Austin Nason now on the inside of Johnson. He's going to try to go around him. Alex Prunty got a little loose coming out of turn two. And Landry Potter trying to get around Rick Pickle now. Nason and Johnson going at it. And now it's Nason to have the edge over Johnson. Nathan and he's going to start looking at Prunty now. There goes your leader, Dale Madison, out there all by himself. And almost put it in cruise control right now. As Landry Potter's really going to work there and Rich Bickle, but he lost him some. He lost some momentum coming out of turn two. And now Alex Prunty right there to try to take advantage of it. Scott Kerner in the 55 car going down a lap. So now it's Prunty and Potter side by side coming out of turn four. Prunty trying to get back to the front. As he's found his way battling for third. Looks like he's going to clear Landry Potter that time. Here comes Austin Mason to follow Prunty. Casey Johnson starting to look to the inside of Potter. But Austin Ason's got to get by him first. Whoa, there's some smoke coming out of the back of the 14 of Austin Nason as he came down the front stretch. Austin Nason trying to clear Landry Potter. Casey Johnson right there behind Austin Nason. 
Dale Nottestead coming up to lap another car. Chris Polera on that double zero car. Rich Bickle trying right now running second. Alex Prunty running third. Prunty's caught Bickle. Seventy-one laps in Rockford Speedway, getting near the halfway of this 200-lap race. Prunty starts to look towards Bickle again, and Bickle pulls away. Casey Johnson right there to challenge Austin Nason now. The battle for fourth between Nason and Johnson. Mad Max Kaler getting around the five of Landry Potter. Looked like he got a little high coming out of turn two. Driver X, John Reynolds Jr. wanting to go around Potter as well. And Potter pulls away. Driver X got a little bit of smoke coming out of the back of that X car now as he went into turns one and two. The 84, Jake Fanoski getting around Chris Purdy. Michael Bilderback gonna get around Chris Purdy and so is the 92 of Rob Braun. Prunty continually looks towards the inside of Rich Bickle there. Going to tell the double zero, the Chris Polera car to get to the inside as the leaders are coming around. Yeah, Landry Potter getting up really high up there in turns one and two. Might be having some handling issues, and he is. He's up there high again. Oh no, the five of Landry Potter gets into the back of Driver X, John Reynolds Jr. And the X car has stopped. Maybe that car just died, I don't know. It looked like the five had gotten into the back of them. All right, so Driver X was able to fire up the X machine there and get it back going here. And you can see some smoke coming off the back of the X car. A lot of smoke coming out of the back of the X car now. Hail so they're the gonna field. Put the, and he's not happy with the five of Landry Potter. That's interesting. And he stopped. And he backed into him. Are you kidding me? And Jake Vanoski had nowhere to go. Come on, guys. We got a lot of racing to go. 120 laps. So the X will be getting the black flag and saying, see you next race. The car quarter pace car out for Dale Nottestead. He's going to bring the group around. They're going to pick up speed. They're now entering the Raw Steel Collision Center restart zone. Here they come. Green flag and we're racing. And Rob Braun is your leader. Dale Nottestead challenging for second. Here we go, or for the lead, I should say. Whoa, Chris Purdy and Rich Bickle smacking door fenders there in three and four. Rich Bickle had to use a wheelman skill there and hang on to it as he started sideways. And everybody's trying to take advantage of Rich Bickle off the mark there. He slides in there and grabs that outside spot. Austin Mason was right there to try to close the door for Bickle. Casey Johnson there trying to look to the side of Austin Mason. Runty and Bilderback trading paint there in turns three and four. Bilderback and Prunty still trading paint coming out of turns two. And now the five of Landry Potter on the inside of the 11. He started to look at the inside there. Chris Purdy went a little high and Bickle almost took advantage of it. Austin Nason just waiting for somebody to make a mistake.
And it's now it's uh, Alex Prunty to repay the favor to Michael Bilderback and rub paint with him. No love lost here, Rockford Speedway. Oh no, Austin Nason and Bickle getting into Purdy. And Purdy lost control. Bickle had nowhere to go. The 14 of Austin Nason tried to take advantage of it. That was interesting. So Chris Purdy in the 12 car. Sponsored by KP Auto Paint there, sitting in the middle. Wow, this is getting interesting. I don't think I'd ever want to... Jake Guiley getting that 50 car figured out. He's going to be down a few laps, of course, but he's back at it. Glad to see him back here. Lights on the car corner, pace car out for Rob Braun. He's going to bring the field around, and they're going to pick up speed. They come, they come, they come. Green flag, and we're racing. And it's Braun and Nottestead. Braun trying to get out front of Nottestead. Nottestead says, no, you're not grabbing that spot. Braun getting a little loose. They're making contact between Braun and Nottestad. Casey Johnson out of the inside of Mad Max Kaler. Nottestad with the edge over Braun. Austin Nason's going to go with him. And he does. Max Kaler wants to go with him, but Rob Braun, let's see what happens there. He might. Nope. Max Kaler's right there to keep him on the inside. Austin Nason challenging Nottestead for the lead. Here we go, Rockford Speedway. Near the halfway, we are past the halfway point. Oh, Nottestead and Nason making contact, and they're still coming out of turn four. And they make contact again. Here comes Mad Max Kaler to take advantage of the two, and he does Mad Max Kaler for the lead. Wow! Max Kaler trying to hang in there. Nottestead wants to go fast again. Nottestead went to the outside. Mad Max closed the door on him. Casey Johnson on the inside of Rob Braun. And Chris Purdy got a little high there into turns two. He almost said hello to the wall. And it's Prunty. On the inside of Johnson. Prunty trying to get by Johnson. Just clears him. Wow, that was close. Michael Bilderback right there. Thought Michael Bilderback was going to look to the inside of Johnson too. Your leader now is Austin Nason. Max Kaler right behind him. Prunty now setting his sights on Rob Braun as Prunty and, Prunty and Braun are going to duke it out during the back, dur down the back stretch into three and four. Prunty, Prunty gets around Braun. He's going to clear him. Casey Johnson now looking to the back of Braun. So your top five are Austin Nason, Mad Max Taylor, Dale Nottestad, Alex Prunty, and Rob Braun. hundred and ten in, ninety to go. Everybody running single file except for the battle of the lap cars in the back. I believe the double zero is a lap car. Chris Polera. Jake Guiley now trying to look to the inside of Landry Potter. Jake Guiley's gonna get around him. The 45 car, Rich Bickle got smoke coming out. A lot of smoke, and there goes the motor possibly, and there's fluid on the track. Oh, hang on to it, drivers. Don't go to the inside. You can see a big strip. Michael Bilderback hopefully tucks it up. Oh, Michael goes to the out inside. Van Oski goes to the inside. Looks like it might just be some water. The 45 machine of Rich Bickle.
Make that 78 laps. Lights on the car, corner pace car are out. He's gonna duck down. Austin Nason is our leader. He will set the pace for the field. As they're gonna come into turns three and four, they're now entering the Raw Steel Collision Center restart zone. Here they come. Oh, they're getting a bump from Prunty Green Flag, I think. And the yellow flag's coming out. Not sure what happened there, but um, <laughs> that was kind of interesting. And that's not going to work. Try it again. And the 55 of Scott Kerner pulls into the pits. Scott Kerner, it's definitely not been Scott's day today. All right. All right, Rock for Speedway. I got an understanding of earlier now. I, all right, lights on the car corner, pace car out. We're going to try it again. If Austin Nason and Dale Mattestead can't get this restart right, they're going to yellow flag it and bring the other two around. Let's do it again. Here they come. Green flag and we're racing. Oh, no, Mattestead and Nason getting into it. Prunny on the hard inside. He was looking to take advantage of the two of them. And it's Austin Nason getting a little high, maybe maybe not said maybe it pushed him. I don't know. But now Alex Prunty is right there to challenge Dale Nottestead. Here comes Prunty. Now it's Michael Builder back on the inside of Nason. Wow, so much has happened in one lap, in one turn. And Prunty now, he wants the lead. He's back up at the front again. Can he get away from Nottestead? Nottestead, a very tough driver. Oh, no. Nottestead and Prunty getting into it. Oh, no. Van Aske getting into it as well. Are you kidding me? Yellow flag is out. We are running out of cars. Casey Johnson there in the middle is going to call it the end of his day, unfortunately. Tough break for Casey. Ask him about it. He'll be more than happy to tell you. <laughs> or the pace car driver could tell you. <laughs> All right, 136 in. Lights on the car corner, pace car out. Michael Builder back in Austin Nason. In the pace. And they're going to pick up speed. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Green flag and we're racing. Into turn one. Looking good. Nason pulled away from Builder back. Builderback tries to cut in front of Kaler, maybe a little short, but he locked up the spot. Landry Potter now on the inside of Alex Prunty. Everybody else, single file racing. Landry Potter and Nottestead now as Alex Prunty's gonna get away from Potter and be in fourth all by himself. Oh no, Max Kaler gave the bump and run to Michael Bilderback. And there's some smoke, it looks like, out of the back of the, I don't know if that was the two of Dale Nottestead or what that was. As they're coming out, it's the double twos. Nottestead and Bilderback challenging for fourth. Landry Potter right there. Oh no, Landry Potter loses it coming off the turn, bumps into Rob Braun. We're going along so far. It's still not a stead and Builderback battling it off. Not a stead gets by Builderback. Rob Braun's going to keep it going. No yellow flag. We're getting near the 
three quarters of the way point of the race. Jake Guiley trying to get on the round Landry Potter. Landry Potter having handling issues in that five car. He keeps drifting up really high into the turn. And your leader is Austin Nason. Could this be his first ever National Short Track Championship win? Matt Taylor never winning the National Short Track Championship. Could it be his day? Front at two. I know he wants three. As they're now going to come around, Jake Van Oski. Just glad to see Jake Van Oski back at it. The car didn't look good earlier. A little bit of duct tape that'll hold everything. And now it's Landry Potter and Michael Builder back battling it out towards the back. A 148 in, 52 to go. Watch those top four cars. Those drivers along with Michael Bilderbeck and Landry Potter are the cars on the lead lap. I believe Rob Braun is also on the lead lap. Everybody else is at least one lap or more down. And the 92 of Rob Braun getting around double zero. Chris Polera. Otherwise, everybody's just kind of single file going along here. 48 laps for Austin Nason. Michael Bilderbeck trying to go ahead and move ahead. Van Oski is on the outside of Van Oski. Otherwise, everybody else just kind of single file rolling along. Bilderbeck gets by him. The lead along here. And really, oh, now Max Kaler is catching up to, look like he caught up to Austin Nason, but Nason pulled away a little bit again. Starting to get near the 40 laps to go point. And now Austin Nason coming into some lap traffic there as they're gonna pass Chris Polera. And the 92 of Rob Braun has some smoke coming out of that right front tire there. Maybe a brake getting real hot. And now it's Alex Prunty to challenge Max Kaler for second. We got some battles up front now. Kaler pulls away from him that time. Here comes Prunty again. Forty laps to go for Austin Nason. Waiting to see if Michael Bilderback's going to try to gain some ground on Jake Guiley, but it didn't seem to be happening as the two machine isn't running as quick as it was earlier. Alec Prunty still right there with Max Kaler. Max Kaler having an amazing run today. Plays high school football for the Belvedere North High School. And here comes Prunty again, and they make contact. Prunty kind of does a slide job there and tries to get around him. Max Kaler holding his own. He's going to battle right back with Prunty. And here they go again. Look good that time. Kaler has the advantage that time.
35 laps to go, Rockford Speedway. The battle's for second. Taylor hanging on to second. Prunty right there. Alex Prunty wants that second place spot. Prunty against, look to the inside, Taylor. And it looks like Austin Nason is starting to pull away a little bit as he's gaining a little bit more ground away from Max Kaler. Thirty laps to go this time by. It's a Rockford Speedway late model feature now. Thirty laps to go for Austin Nason. So Austin Nason now coming up into some lap traffic. As Rob Braun was told to go to the inside, but he's still staying to the outside. This could get interesting. Let's see if he does it this time. That time Rob Braun moves to the inside. Prunty still trying to run down Kaler. Oh, Rob Ron goes high now. And in the meanwhile, Max Kaler and Alex Prunty are starting to catch Austin Nason. 25 laps to go Rockford Speedway, this time by. Prunty again, here we go, Prunty and Kaler. Prunty wants second. Here he comes. Oh, and they make contact coming out of four. And they make contact going into one and two. Prunty's just getting in front of Kaler. Kaler gives him a bump. So we'll see if Alex Prunty can run down Austin Nason. I don't know. Rob Braun in the middle of that as well. We'll see what happens. Dale Nottestead just kind of holding along at fourth place. Michael Bilderback running fifth. Yellow flag is out. This is called a competition yellow. Once we run about 50 laps with no caution whatsoever, this is called a competition yellow flag Rockford Speedway. The yellow flag is out. Pits are closed. Rick. They're not saying that. All right, lights on the car corner, pace car duck on out. Austin Nason does set the pace. They're coming into turn three and four. Here we go. Great flag, we're racing. Into turn one, uh, Prunty immediately goes to work on Austin Nason. Here we go, this is exactly what Prunty wanted. It's the challenge that he gets, here we go. And Dale Nottestead trying to get around Max Kaler as the two of them trade paint going into three and four. Nottestead claims fifth now. Michael Bilderbeck is in this race. Michael Bilderbeck running fifth. He's starting to look towards Kaler, but he got a little loose coming out of turn two, and he lost some ground. Kaler's right back at Nottestead. He wants third again. Kaler and Nottestead making contact coming out of turn two. So they got 14 laps left to go, Rockford Speedway. Austin Nason's dream come true could be happening today.
Prunty looks to the inside again, coming out of four, tucks it back to the outside to protect. Prunty and Nason right there. zero Chris Polera off the pace he's gonna pull it in the pits 10 laps now here we go 190 complete but he's got 10 laps if he's gonna do it that's what he's got Austin's got 10 laps to hold him and now it's eight laps to go eight laps for Austin Nason Seven laps for Nason. And Nason pulls away in the straights. Prunty goes to the inside again. Nason pulls away. Six laps to go for Elston Nason. to go, make it four this time by for Austin Mason. Three to go this time by. Here comes, here comes Alex Prunty, he's challenging him now, it's now or never. There's two laps to go. Let's, oh no, he gets high. Here comes Prunty. Oh no, it's a wreck in turn one. Prunty and Nason wrecking each other as Prunty goes sideways. And with that happening, the 14 and 11 are gonna have to go to the back of the pack, giving the lead to Dale Nottestead. Are you kidding me? Is it going to be Dale Nottestead? Is it going to be Max Kaler? Is it going to be Builder Becker Potter? Lights on the car corner, pace car out. Let's find out who's going to win. Austin Nason's still in it. Here they come. Great flag of racing. <laughs> Kaler immediately goes to work on Nottestead. Right flag out. Oh, Kaler gets to the back of Nottis, then he moves him. Oh! Kaler and Nottis said, Kaler's your leader. Nottis said, loses it coming out of turn two. Are you kidding me? Here comes your winner. It's going to be Max Kaler. Michael Bilderbeck. Oh, third place, I think, was Dale Nottis said. Holy cow. I can't believe what we just saw. Wow. Oh my God. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, I can't wait to talk to him.
a senior in high school, wins National Short Track, the 55th running of it, $5,000. Sponsored by Windsor Auto Sales, Machinery Source, Rush Power Systems, Trump Cabello, <laughs> Retool, <laughs> Junction Auto Parts, b &K Concrete, Hammer Time Sports, I think I got them all, and make Bell Rock as well. Good run today. As he's gonna get out of the car, 200 less, make some noise, it's Mad Max Kaler. Max, oh my gosh, what a race. There's a hat for you, sir. Probably a little bit cooler wearing this than the helmet. But we got to talk about the race because everybody wants to hear the story. Let's come out. Let's go up on stage. That's probably the right place to talk. Let me get out of the way for the picture here. I don't need to be in that. I didn't win short track. I, I understand it. it this is t all right. Got to do the picture with the flag. And there's Max Kaler's dad. We're going to have a chance to talk with all three of our first, second, and third place finishers. What a moment for this Belvedere North High School senior. Plays linebacker for the Belvedere North Blue Thunder. And raced 200 laps and beat out some of the best drivers in the Midwest. All right. Matt, yeah, you got to sign that first. <laughs> all right, Max. First of all, Congratulations. I have to say, this has got to be a dream come true. Is this a dream come true or what? Yeah, I mean, I, if you would have told me this morning that we'd be anywhere close to here, even up here talking to you today, I would have told you no way. You know, yesterday we had electrical issues. My ignition switch stopped working and, you know, running both cars. We just said, screw it. We're going to, you know, fix it in the morning. So we got one this morning, put it in real quick. And, you know, this thing, it's, it, it was tight all yesterday. And I don't know how we pulled it through, but I mean, we're standing here and, I don't know what else to say. I got to thank all my sponsors on here. Machinery Source, Windsor Auto Sales, B&K Concrete, uh, Trump Cabello, Candlelight Chicago, my mom, my dad, um, everyone else helps me in the pits. It's just, this is, this is insane. I don't know what's going on, you know. It, last year, you can see how it ended, those uh, concrete barriers over there. So yeah. <laughs> this is a lot better than that. And, man, thank you all the fans coming out here tonight, or today, excuse me. Uh, this, you know, this definitely makes up for the Big 8 race. All right.
Now, I got a couple questions to ask you because that was a very interesting race. I know at this track, it is hard to pass in a super late model. No one has ever said to me ever, oh, it's easy, no problem. Sometimes I see you got to move people to do it. That was very interesting there with Alex Prunty and Austin Nason, and you were right there waiting for a mistake to happen. It did. You and Dale Modestead getting into it a little bit. You guys did what you had to do, and he's right there in third. I mean, it was a very good race. What do you want to say? You know, I got ran over all day. Didn't run anyone over except for Dale at the end there, but he ran me over two or three times before. So in my book, uh, I saw everyone out here won. You can see my left side there, and I, I raced a clean race. Last lap, everything goes, and that's what happened. And if you have some, you got something to say about it, come say it to me. <laughs> All right, Max, Max Keeler. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let's talk with our second place finisher. Michael Bilderback, winning the Big Eight 108 lap feature. That was an amazing race today, looking to do it two in a row, and it was literally a try to stay out of trouble race here as everybody has tire marks all up and down the side of their car. I mean, it wasn't just Max Kaler and Dale Nottestead moving. I mean, you got moved. You had to move people. This is racing at Rockford at National Short Track Championship, but you guys are amazing drivers to come out ahead after all that. I mean, I'm looking at there. We have tire marks up on the wall today from earlier. What do you got to say about that? Yeah, it's, uh, this race is always physical. You know, it's, uh, you got a group of guys that you know you can lean on, and, and most of them aren't going to wreck you. Some of them might, but uh, you, uh, you, learn, you learn which ones you lean on and which ones you lean on more. And uh, we, uh, we didn't have a good car. Hats off to the crew. We, uh, we blew the water line out, and they made one, and they dumped a bunch of water in. They worked their, they worked their butts off to get this thing back and forth every time we went to pits. And, uh, you know, we didn't, I didn't give them a good car to, to start the race with, but they kept trying to give me a better car and uh, just had to survive. And, you know, I w wish we had a little bit more to, uh, to, to go door there, Max, but uh, congratulations to them guys. That kid's one hell of a driver, and he's going to have one hell of a future. And it's amazing that the two of you raced here on a weekly Saturday night series, back and forth, beating and banging every Saturday night, so you guys know each other real well. It's kind of cool that you're out here battling for the win, and yet you're still friends in the end. Oh yeah, you uh, you know you might not have breakfast in the morning, but later on in the week you're gonna talk. But no, it's uh, it's Rockford, and this is this is all like I said, an aggressive race. So hats off to the crew. Thank you all the fans, the Deary family, McCarns, and all his group. It's uh, you know it's it's one hell of a show. This is one great weekend, and just wish uh, wish we could have been one spot ahead. Let's thank some sponsors real yeah. quick too. Yeah, thank uh, Eileen Wastak. Uh, her and Dave came on board this week, and. Uh, after this race, I think we're going to get her ready, go to Nashville in uh, Halloween weekend for a big 400-lap uh, race down there. So we might have to replace some body panels on there. But uh, we got Crazy Times Pub, Jim Olson Collision, Ober Construction, uh, Colin Metals, Jay's Truck Service. Everybody helps us. Liz Bilderback. You know, thank you, everybody. All right, one more time, Rockford Speedway. We're second place finisher, Michael Bilderback. All right. I, I had to ask, and I got to ask you too. Now, you know, I, I was not here last year on Saturday night when the Racing at Rockford sponsored car put it for the victory lane for the 108, which was amazing for you, Dale. Now, I've seen you race here. You are one of the absolute toughest competitors here. You don't give way for nobody, and we saw it. I mean, you were giving it all. It was $5,000 race. That's a lot of money to win here. Um, I, I didn't see that coming, what had happened. You had so much going on. You had uh, Alex Prunty trying to move you today. It's like, if you don't hold your own, they are going to push you around, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we, we had a good car clipping off the fastest lap all day long, and uh, it's about the only way they were going to beat us, I think. Uh, I, I got into him before that. I didn't think I was going to get that bad back. He didn't even try to turn the corner, but hey, that's what, what it is, I guess. Dale, you got some people to thank, man. You're, I, even though you didn't win, you still got third place. There's about uh, what, what you got, 13 other cars that can't say that. So what do you want to say? Do you got some people you want to thank? Yeah, def first off, Kyle Melton, he, uh, he, he does everything for me. He's a great guy. My dad, uh, Ken Noyce for spotting. Aaron Wilkie's down here today. Um, Badger Realty, Don LaBarge, she come on board and helped us out a ton. Smithback Farms, and then Glassworks of Wisconsin. And interior race engines, Pathfinder chassis. All right, Dale. Any shout-outs real quick? Oh, shout-outs to all my fans that I probably don't have here, but I love it. <laughs> all right. Dale, tough break, man, but very good run today. Very respectable third-place finish. Make some noise, Rockers, for you one more time for Dale Nottestead. 
And that's going to conclude today's races. Remember, next Friday, Track X here at the Rocker Speedway. Did you guys like this race or what? I, I was just shocked the whole time. <laughs>